Hello everyone, I am Bindu Trikha, Assistant Professor, I am Ms. Ghazabad. Today we would be studying about C programming. Already I have made certain videos in which I have uh, started about C, uh, how do we declare the variables and how we have, uh, what are the various operators in C language, what are the various statements in C language. Now today we would be starting off with our first C program. Let us see, let us move on. We would be printing hello world in C. The first statement is hash include stdio.h. First, I'll uh, write the whole program and then I'll explain the various steps. Yeah, what are the various statements indicate? Then we have int main, curly bracket, printf, hello world in parenthesis, return 0 and then the curly bracket is closed. This is a very simple basic program for writing hello world in C language. Now let us understand what does each and every statement means. The first statement is hash include stdio.h. Now this statement is for inclusion of header file stdio.h. Now what are these header files? Header files are the already predefined files in which we have certain functions definitions of certain functions and those functions are being used in our language in our program so here uh, hash include stdio.h is the statement for inclusion of header file stdio.h the full form of stdio.h is standard input output header file Hash include is a preprocessor directive. Preprocessor di directives are the uh, statements which are used to process the program of, or, or, or those which are used for preprocessing of the program before compilation. And preprocessor directive here stdio.h indicates that we need to find the function definition for printf function here we are using printf function and the definition of printf is written in stdio.h now header files are the files that usually contain various function definitions and make c file less clut cluttered now my next statement here is int main main is the main function in any c program it is a mandatory function without main no c program can be written so main activity would be here we can have as many functions as we want in our program but main function should be there and all the main activity is defined in this particular function only now int main we have parenthesis and empty empty parenthesis empty parenthesis indicates that main function does not have any argument and before main we have written int here int indicates that it, it returns an integer value the error function would return any integer value now my next statement is printf hello world before moving to printf hello world we have seen we have written certain curly brackets these curly brackets are opened as well as closed and whatever is being written into this curly bracket forms a block the block of statement is executed in a sequence now here we have printf hello world printf is a built-in function whose definition is mentioned in stdio.h and this function is used to display the text with the given arguments now here we have written hello world in double quotes that means we have written a string and this string would be displayed as it is on the output sc screen the definition of this function is provided in stdio.h header file as i have already explained and then we have return zero why return zero because we have the fun main function as a return type int now here this return zero tells the compiler that everything is okay and the execution of main function ends here only now zero is the code for successful execution and if we don't want if we want if we don't return any zero value this means there is certain issue with our program so whenever we are using main function with 
return type int then we must always use return statement at the end of the function and here since we have the integer value so we would be returning return 0 which tells that everything is okay and execution of main function is over now now this is my program these are the curly brackets these are all these these are also known as the delimiters um, and we have the block this is the execution block of the main function whatever is being written into this block within these curly brackets would be considered as a complete block of statements now what we'll do while executing this program we would be saving this program writing this program in any editor and then save it as hello.c why dot c because all the c programs are saved with the extension dot c now we would be learning how we can compile this particular program in linux we would be using gcc compiler that is a compiler which compiles and executes c programs in linux now here the syntax for executing this particular program is gcc minus o hello hello dot c now here minus o indicates that my output file is hello what this particular program is we would be doing uh, what this particular ex execute compilation execution would be doing the gc com c compiler would take my file hello dot c it would compile it and it would write the output in the file named hello and in the next statement what i have written is dot slash hello this means i want to execute my file hello and hello word would be printed so dot hello ex files executes and prints the output of the program gcc is a compiler for executing in linux minus o hello is the a file where our output would be redirected and hello.c is the name of the file to be compiled and to be executed and then dot slash hello is the way to execute the file named hello thank you and have a nice day